What's up, bitches? Welcome to Ruffle Waffle. On today's episode, we are making some holiday cocktail waffles. They're kind of like cocktails. They're not really cocktails, but that's a good name. Holiday booze waffles. Where I was going to be making some hot buttered rum waffles. Lofi has the eggnog. And I'm going with old school some mead. Now, some people might not think of mead like immediately when they think of holiday drinks, but I'm telling you, this spiced mead stuff, super old school, super good. Here's my lump of waffle. A lump of waffle? A <laughs> lump of waffle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. I know, I'm pretty sure at least, that just putting the mead in there isn't gonna turn into a waffle. Because we tried the boozy waffles before. We found out that like when it's just watery liquid. Yeah, they're just kind of loose and shitty. It's loose and shitty. So I am gonna put a good amount in here, of course. I'm gonna one for myself. There you go. Yeah, the buttermilk's doing stuff for you that you don't, you know, necessarily realize. Fucking asshole. <laughs> this isn't what cold moves about. Oh come on, get in there hey, with your even rubbers. We have to Stop be complaining. Lost, man. Oh. Well, I forgot one of the rules for the show. Oh, fuck. On the side of your waffle, you gotta have your cocktail made. I didn't agree to this. What? What do you mean? I just have eggnog. <laughs> I'm done. Yay! I'm smelling a little bit of crispness, smelling yeah. a little bit of burnination, so I'm gonna go Ooh. ahead, take this little guy out. It's got color of goodness, but like the bottom side looks... Little, uh, yeah, it still feels done. Gonna put a little bit of uh, homemade honey on there. How do you homemade honey? Do you have like bees? Yep. Oh well, my god! Well, really? you learn you learn from the bees how to eat the pollen and spit it out. Let's use a little drizzle, little drizzle. I'm fine with this. <laughs> it looks, it makes a pretty picture. Yeah, it does. That is a picturesque waffle, ladies and gentlemen. It's dripping on me. It's dripping everywhere. <laughs> Deal with it. You say that like it's your first time. Come on. So the honey on top of it definitely adds an, uh, an awesome flavor. Uh, honey and butter go to great, go together great on a waffle, that's for sure. The waffle itself though, the meat imparted almost no flavor on that. I really can't taste anything coming out of there. <coughs> Is it because the honey might be on top masking the flavor? I don't think so, because no. you can taste the starchiness of the, the waffle. I would say it's on the edge of being underdone. It was getting a little bit crispy on the ends. But it's more like a French toast sort of texture, I guess. It's, uh, it's good. But I think that's just the honey on top. You're right. I'm having a real tough time distinguishing anything different about the waffle batter. Mm -hmm. It's dense. It's not like fluffy like it would normally be with all the milk in it, but flavor-wise. It's still got a nice texture to it. Like, um, it, it's lighter than French toast, but I do see what you're, you're talking about with that angle. Yeah, a lot of savoriness, just a tiny bit of sweetness. I think a lot of it's come from the honey on top. But it's a nice subtlety. Um, and it makes the waffle really good. Uh, yeah, maybe just a tiny bit of powdered sugar on top of this as well. You don't, it doesn't need a lot of topping, but, um, maybe just a tiny bit extra to push it along. Oh, it's not hot. Oh! The texture, the flavor of the waffle with the topping on it, it's fucking delicious. As a mead waffle. Yeah, you can't really get any mead, but I yeah. mean, it's a good waffle. But I mean, like, overall, <laughs> I mean, like, holy crap. Like, I want this for breakfast every day. But, yeah, if you, if, I wouldn't be able to distinguish this from, like, a normal waffle versus a meat waffle. Today, we're going to be making our waffle with Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog premix. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is an old favorite of ours. Yes. <laughs> The Nog de la Huevos. Because uh, after Pink's... After Pink's waffle, um, I think we're going to have to over-represent the eggnog booze. And we're going to take a little bit of buttermilk. 
just to flavor it and maybe break this shit up a little bit more. It's the equivalent of a eighth of a cup. Ooh, there's a lot more substance to that one. Sitting there drinking your mead like this isn't a crisis? <laughs> Come on. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> oh no. I'm not gonna say the Dutch know much about science or math, but boy, can they make an eggnog. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eggnog might not be the best catalyst for baking goods. <laughs> We've been cooking this for quite some time, and this is where we are at. It's it's still kind of soft. So very, quite, very, yeah, very soft. Quite a pale horse. Hey, hey, you know, I, I got medication for it, Wero. Yeah, that's hey, that looks that good. Looks good. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at the presentation. That's the photogenic side. Meant it. Meant it. 100% meant that. Well done, little fit. You made an excellent waffle. <laughs> you got to make your cocktail to go along with it. Mm -hmm. That's step yeah. one. Hmm. You guys are dicks. Oh, shit. He's getting fancy as fuck. Oh, my God. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> There's something in the waffle itself that is distinct. Um, it, it does say, hey, I'm kind of leaning towards an eggnog waffle. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just going to say I approve of this waffle. It's nice, but is it nice uh, as a waffle that just kind of has its own flavor and all of the sweet shit you put on top of it? I might like that a little bit more, but you can taste like seasonal spices and stuff in this waffle. So, did it do its job? Yeah, do I like it? Not a bunch, but it's passable. <laughs> you can tell that there's something else in the batter, but I would not call it eggnog necessarily. Yeah, if somebody told you there was gingerbread men in there or something, like, yeah. It's some kind of a seasonal spice, but it's not distinct. Yeah. It, it, like, I would never have guessed eggnog. Mm. I've been like cinnamon and, yeah, ginger or something. Mm -hmm. But, also like yours, like the waffle is just a good waffle. And then you put the whipped cream and it's not bad. But, yeah. As an eggnog waffle, I don't. It doesn't really pass. What is that texture? It's like the texture of a muffin. <laughs> we cooked it for a while. Yeah, actually muffin is not a bad. There is something extra in there. I forgot to try the drink. You you can't tell what it is. Like Wero was saying, it almost tastes like a couscous. <laughs> couscous? I've had like a sweetened couscous. Oh it's wow. Like flavored with cinnamon. It's, it's kind of has this sort of flavor to it. I actually kind of like that a lot. It just comes sort of at the waffle at a different, you know, direction than normal waffles go. So I'm doing a hot butter rum waffle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my, my oily little puck over here. Yeah. Wow. This is some of the mix. I didn't know that was like two-tone. Uh, it's not. Normally. I'm mixing the mix into my waffle. That's an interesting ingredient right there. Can you smell that stuff? All that rum? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, the rum is hitting me. Watch this shit curdle as soon as it hits my batter. Oh, yeah, I think mine's way looser than yours. I'm <laughs> do that little like rocky thing that you did. To science. I'm gonna make my syrup. So we got a little bit of a paste. So once I pull the waffle out, I'm gonna kind of do it like a, a smear, kind of let it do its thing on the waffle. I don't even know if I can get this out of here without it just ripping into pieces. Just believe, Wero. No, I'm just, I'm just. He doesn't believe. Oh, you didn't believe. That's why it's fun. Oh my goodness. All right, so it's, it's gonna be very moist halves. <laughs> 
Oh, it looks like honey mustard. Mm. Ah. Oh. Here is our beverage. So we we'll go along with this. <laughs> Waffle shaped sponge cake. <laughs> A little sweet. <laughs> <clears throat> Not only sweet, but uh, my syrup. You get a little bit of the rum at first. <laughs> and then it gets sweet. Mm -hmm. And I think it is the syrup, because there's like a lot of like crunchy sugar that I'm getting. But the uh, the waffle itself, actually, after it cooled down, it kind of... The, the sugars that were in it kind of kind of tied the room together. Hmm. I kind of think this one's the best one. Fuck you! <laughs> really? You look like you're getting drop kicked in the face when you <laughs> take a bite of that. All right, yeah, I'm boozy. <laughs> um, it's hard to tell because there's so much syrup on there, but I feel like the waffle itself would definitely give you the flavor of the hot butter rum sort of mix because it's like got cinnamon and butter and sugar which is you know it's an excellent mix for a waffle it almost tastes like a, a cinnamon roll that and a successful ah. <laughs> you need some creamy goodness <laughs> not hot rum <laughs> <laughs> it's so rich and cakey. Yeah, you need like a, a side of milk. Even eggnog would go excellent with this. Mm. This is definitely like an apple fritter minus the tartness. <clears throat> it's got a lot of sugar caking this whole thing. And it's still pretty good. Um, but you can definitely tell that you would uh, ingest a lot more bad things on something like this. Like, it's almost it's almost soaked in this, like a like a stroop waffle. <laughs> Even though this waffle is excessively sweet and and more than um, more than not just absolutely soaked in sugar, um, it's still really good. Kudos, holiday drinks. <laughs> you may have ruined my childhood, but you made my waffles fantastic. <laughs> so thank you for joining us for this episode of Hroffle Hwaffle, where we took uh, something that really doesn't belong on a waffle and we shoved it in there anyway, and we made it figure it out in the end. <laughs> uh, so please let us know in the comments below what you think of... Uh, your holiday beverages, what do you imbibe on this, the most festivus of seasons? Fest, fest, festivus, festivus, fastidious? Festivus, fastidious of seasons, everybody. And uh, make sure to check out the social media down below where you can get all of our uh, latest news and updates. And check me out over on twitch.tv.lofimolasses. We will see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>